I'm going to we're going to test out the uh, the harmonics of this uh, radio. Do you have the Radtel RT730 radio? Holy crap, Atoli! Amateur radio and GM RS2. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Amateur Radio and GM RS, the home of ProjectLongHaul.com. Today we're going to be doing a review of the RT730. I did beat the sh** out of the RT950, however, this RT730 is absolutely incredible. It does some things that you probably are not aware that it couldn't do. This thing can transmit from 10 megahertz to 630. This thing can transmit from 10 megahertz to 630. Now, I have a very good friend of mine, Will, from Freak Out Radio. He has this radio as well. And he is actually one of my state coordinators for Project Long Haul, and we talk every day. He is a very amazing gentleman. Freak Out Radio has also found out the same things as I have. This can transmit on FM radio. Again, it can transmit from 10 megahertz all the way up to 630. However, you can't transmit on air bands. It will not allow you to do that. So that is that is very much locked out. Oh well, he's trying to. So let's see. Let's that's just for argument's sake. Let's try that. So one, two, zero, 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 zero. Um, no, you can go to the frequency, but it beeps and lets you know you cannot transmit on it. So that's good news. That's good news for Red Tail. So that's good news that you cannot transmit. And I apologize for anybody who. You know, you have to find out if it can. That's the whole point of a review. So you cannot transmit on aircraft bands. That's obviously an FAA requirement, which, thank God. Start using it because it has features on it that you probably didn't even know it can do. Come on, 10 megahertz? I mean, obviously, this antenna is not a 10 megahertz antenna. You can transmit on CB FM. And I beat up the 950 for that in my last video but this can as well and it's just shocking that this can actually do it without selecting it the RT950 you have to physically change the mode in order to get to that section of radio the 730 you do not you just stay in it you type it in and you're ready to go that's freaking awesome you don't have to physically change the mode of the radio to use a feature. That is killer. That is freaking killer. Killer. This is awesome. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. <clears throat> Let's check out the power. So we're going to do... <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this. 10 megahertz. 10 megahertz FM. I don't see the need for this. And we're on a dummy load. We're going to do it anyway. We're getting 3.5 watts, 10 megahertz FM. Don't see the purpose of this or why this radio would be able to do this. Here's 20 megahertz FM. Wow, it's going up. That's bizarre. Never seen that before. Two point. I'm gonna stop there. Two point nine zero twenty. Let's do CB FM zero two seven three eight five. Okay, just so you know. Five watts on. CBFM. Unbelievable. Let's do. I don't know where else to go. Uh, 50 megahertz? That's 6 meters FM. Six meters FM. 
54, 52 megahertz? Hang on. Remember, this is on a dummy load, so I'm not transmitting anything at all. 3.9 at 52 megahertz. Let's do 54 megahertz. Again, on FM, 54 megahertz, the top VFO. Wattage is going up. Weird. 529 on 6 meters, FM on an HT. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is crazy. Um, we can't do um, aircraft bands. Can we do 85 megahertz? Like, what's an 85? I mean, you got to check. I don't know ID. I'm just, you know, showing you what this thing could do. 85 megahertz, 4, 4.52, <laughs> 85 megahertz FM. We can't transmit at air bands. We've already proven that. Um, let's go to 144520. The typical, the correct frequent frequency for ham, 144520. And we're getting 10 point. 3 watts. 10.3 watts on an RT730. Holy shit balls, people. Oh my god. So let's go to the top. 148. 950. So, so you can see 148. 950. Let's see what we get. Of course, when I hit the button. What? I just saw 11 watts. 11 watts! Did you see that? Did you see that? This thing puts out 11 freaking watts. 11! 11 watts! Holy crap! I'm not, you know what? We still gotta check out to see um, how the harmonics are on this. Should we do that today? Is the question. So I, I do have a Rigel uh, DSA A32E here. I think I'm going to include the harmonics in this. I'm supposed to do a review of the product first, but I kind of need it for this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to show this off now. So this, I'm going to, we're going to test out the, uh, the harmonics of this uh, radio. On one forty. Four, five, two, zero. So what's unique about the, the about the Rigol? Actually, hang on. Let me just load this up here. We need to do storage. Um, go to directory. Go to drive C. File. Now what I did was, if you look carefully, let me just straighten this out and zoom in a little bit more. If you look carefully. I've set up two profiles, one VHF normal and then VHF fine. It's a fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to load this up. Hang on one second. We need to get an antenna. Actually, you can actually see something. That's something transmitting. That's probably the FM radio. <laughs> so what we're going to do right now is, um, so we got to go to trace. We're going to go to trace. And we're going to do max hold. So as soon as I hit transmit, we're going to see what this thing can do. Wow, this is a very, very noisy radio. At 144.520. Look at that. That is a mess. Oh, my God. Hold on, let me, just, let me go clear right. So you can, every time I transmit... That's crazy. So, just so you know, the first one, this is the actual frequency, okay? The, um, you know what, let me show you what a real radio is supposed to do. And then I'm gonna, this is important, okay? All right, I have a Baofeng um, F8HP Pro here. 
I'm going to use this as an example on the screen and we're going to do max hold so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to transmit on 144, It's uh, trust me, it's on 144.520 and I'm going to show you what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so that is correct. This F8 HP Pro is insane. This is a, a killer. You're not supposed to have third, fourth, and fifth harmonics. A good radio, it's not supposed to have that. You're supposed to only have, you're not supposed to have any spurs either. It's, it's very accurate. I mean, this is showing 144, 520, but on the screen here, it's, um, it's, I have to zoom in on this to 100% prove that it's at 144, 520. I could do that, but we're, gonna, we're not going to do that in this scenario. However, you can clearly see that's where it is. Now, if I do number marker number two, we're going to make that normal. We can show that the harmonics, the second harmonic, is at 289.33. All right, so now I'm going to do trace, and we're going to go to trace number two, and now I'm going to transmit the rat tail. Now, I'm going to show you the difference. Now, we don't, the third harmonic, hang on, let me go back to marker. Let me go to where the third should be, because if I did another radio, it'll, it'll make more sense. So let's go to number three, and we're going to hit normal. So number three should be here. Okay, and then number four should be here. Okay, that's where the, the, the third and fourth harmonic, the fifth harmonic I can't actually show or mark. It only does four markers. So as we saw that. So now I'm going to transmit on the rat tail. Hang on, let's go to trace. Trace number two. So this will be in a different color. Actually, hang on, let me go to max hold. And I'll watch what happens. It's a disaster. Okay, so this is a splatter box. So the RT730 is a nice radio, but it's a splatter box in, in terms of RF frequency. This is all over the place. <clears throat> it's interfering with so many things, it's not even funny. That's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Okay, so now, now we're just comparing the splatter box, the RT730, with the Mini. This is a UV5R Mini. Yes, it is. Want to make sure. We're on the same frequency, 144, 520. Okay, so let's go to marker. Let's go to number one. And let's do trace. And let's do max hold. Perfect. So I'm going to do the UV5R Mini. There we go. So, marker, and we'll go to number one. We're going to make it normal. We'll move that over here. I'm only doing this so you can actually see what I'm actually doing. So that's marker number one, marker number two, normal. Marker number two is here. So the harmonic, very low though, if you noticed. 289, marker number three, normal, that should be here. And interesting, there is a fifth harmonic on this, but it's, I've never seen it actually on this. Seven twenty-two sixty-six. All right, so <clears throat> that's on the UV5 Mini. Now we're gonna do this. So we're going to go to uh, trace, we're going to go to number two, and we're going to hit transmit. <clears throat> and let's see what it can do. Oh, wait. It's a splatter box. It's a splatter box, people. That's really, really bad. The, the, F8, F, the F8 HP Pro and the UV5R Mini are much, much better radios 
<laughs> in terms of RF transmission than the RT730. Holy crap, that proves it right there. That said, the RT730 just lost its crown in terms of, I'm, I'm very excited on what it can do, but it's really a major interference splatter box radio. The nine, the, the RT730 as a whole, I don't know. So splatter box interferes with everything. So this now gets to Joe Tech Tips. Um, I'm gonna, for the features, it's gonna get a, a four star review now. And for the transmission capability, it's gonna get a, <laughs> I'm sorry to do this, it's gonna get a one star because it's a splatter box and we cannot have splatter boxes on our bands. It's not a good thing to have. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see. Oh, before I go, Rigol did give me this product for free. This is um, a product review that I have to do, but I needed to include it in this video. But that review video will be coming, and we will show you how this, is, how this works and what its features are. If you're interested in this product already, remember, this is not a tiny SA. This is professional gear. This is, this is the top of the line in terms of quality and accuracy. Not in a tiny SA environment at all. This thing's a beast. And it gives back quality and correct data for this purpose. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time. God bless. CQ, C calling out to you all. On amateur radio and GMRS2. From 462 to HFA. Hey. We're making friends across oh. the land. Get up. Let your voice be heard. Okay, we got the RT950. I really didn't want to do this in an RT730 video, but um, I leave no choice to do so, because now I have to find out if this is a splatter box as well. And I'm, and I'm wondering if the radio technology is following each other between radios. All right, let's see. So let's go to storage. Let's go to file. We want to go to drive C. We want to go to file. We want to recall. Okay, we're good. Here we go. We're just going to do this radio by itself. But bam. Wow. Okay. The 930 isn't bad. That's actually pretty good. There is first, second, and third harmonic better than the Rad Tail 730 radio by a mile. Holy crap. And there is a fifth harmonic way over here. But this is actually pretty good. This is what we want to see. <laughs>